Hello and welcome back to Good Dreams. Today we have yet another superhero level for you. It is the one, the only, the man of steel. Yeah, Superman from the DC side of things. And this one looks to be a pretty high quality level. Yeah, so let's check it out together, shall we? <laughs> and right off the bat we got the nice classic Superman suit from the comics and early 70s and a pretty fancy world going on this is this is a custom built city it's an actual actually well made uh, city well we can hover pretty well look at that look at that cape physics right functioning cape physics always appreciated all right let's see should be R2 to fly oh yeah This is this is impressive. Look, it's so smooth. And it, we got an actual functioning city with cars and lights. Holy cow. This doesn't happen. Like ever. This is like a first for dreams, at least for me. <laughs> Normally these tech demo cities are completely empty. This one actually feels like it has life. That's really freaking cool. Okay, let's see. So, R2 makes us fly. Oh, okay. If we press R3, we can boost. That's pretty nice. The controls are wonderful as well. Zipping right on through. The city is pretty gigantic as well. Let's fly up and see how big this city is. Can I go over here? Oh, wow. This is, I mean, we're starting to get to the outer edge, I think. It's a little less detailed. But, it's still here. There's no cars or anything, but it's still here. This is a huge city. This is awesome. Now we're... Okay, oh, we can, So there's apparently three levels of flying. We got... Standard speed. A little faster speed. And then like a supersonic boost mode. That's pretty cool. And the hovering works great. Unlike the Iron Man, which the camera broke every time you wanted to go down low or anything. This actually works. This works very well. And I can actually walk like a human being. Even though I'm technically a god. That's why I can walk through cars. <laughs> Highly impressed. Like it, the gameplay is so flawless. There's no real hitches at all. All right, what else we got? So, circle seems to hover descend. X is hover rise. Okay. Triangle doesn't seem to be doing anything that I am aware of. Let's see what else we got. Oh. Hello. <laughs> we got the laser vision. That's right on the D-pad. And was that freeze breath? Yeah, freeze breath down on the D-pad. Nice. Okay. That's something. Let's try landing. Slowly rise. Rise it. Oh, we can punch. That's what square does. Okay. Pow! Need like the comic little pow pop ups. And. <laughs> oh, we can do combos! We can do combos, people! <laughs> That's so cool. This is already better than the N64 version of Superman. Finding Superman comics unlocks different costumes. Oh! Sweet! There's actually stuff to do in this city. I guess we gotta find all the comics. Two more to go. Let's find these other comics, shall we? Now, I wanna try some. So apparently the controls, if you press L1 plus X, you can launch or something. 
Oh my gosh. That was the coolest thing. That was the coolest thing. Classic Superman launch. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's so well made. Oh, hold up. If we, what was that? What was that L3? Oh, dude, I think that's X-ray vision. Yes, it is. Look at that. That is freaking cool. Can literally see through all the buildings. And even like all the cars are visible. That's freaking nice, man. That's so well done. I am. This is the most polished superhero game I think we've played so far, folks. Even better than the Iron Man and Flash ones, which are pretty, pretty nice. Not going, not going. Lie. But this, this is a pretty nice standard. I can't understate how nice it is to have a populated world. Like even something as simple as having cars and city lights, and like actually daily planet customized city, not just some generic New York, New York. It's it really adds a lot to it. Oh, it looks like, is that an objective? What's this little lightning bolt on the map? Well, hello, sir. Oh, I know you. You're the Scarlet Speedster. What are you doing here? This is my game. I will fight you. That didn't even phase him. Yo, soups, how about we settle that Fast Man Live argument today? Race you to the Daily Planet. I mean, I'm definitely going to lose that battle. There's no competition between the Flash and Superman, but let's do it. Just for the giggles. Race! I will definitely not win this. I can hear him. He's gaining on me. And there he goes. <laughs> I wanted a real challenge blue, but you didn't even use your super speed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going easy on you. Yeah, once you super speed, you can enter max speed. Just be careful not to crash into any buildings. You're harder to control when you fly super fast. That is very true. Let's see what else the city has. Oh, L. Is that L for LexCorp? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, buddy. Where are you at, Lexi? Where's my bald Mark Zuckerberg at? <laughs> I got a plan. How about we use our uh, X-ray vision? Where are you at, Lexi? Oh, are you kidding me? Did this guy line his entire building in lead? <laughs> That's something Lex would do, wasn't it? Our plan has been foiled. All right, let's talk Superman movies for one second. I think Man of Steel is a good movie, but I think it's such a missed opportunity. Henry Cavill is a fantastic actor. He's so funny, so likable, so enjoyable. He's amazing in Man from Uncle. And he's just not amazing in the Superman movies and it's not even his fault it's the freaking director and the writing which is abysmal they try to make him this gritty and realistic Superman which I kind of dig I kind of like the whole realistic Superman aspect but it's so poorly implemented it, especially in the Justice League and Batman vs Superman movies it's just more laughable and such wasted opportunity for an actor as amazing as Henry Cavill which is why it's so disheartening to see those movies because there's so much wasted opportunity ah, it just makes me mad thinking about it I mean I don't even want to talk about Batman vs Superman but Justice League <sighs> what a joke of a movie an absolute joke could have been great but such a joke DC just rushing to catch up to Marvel because it got behind and just releases half-baked, half-finished product, and uh, hopefully we see Henry Cavill make a return and try to 
justify a good Superman movie again, because he deserves it. But yeah, that's my rant on Superman movies. If you have a favorite, be sure to mention in the comments below, because I'm curious what y'all think about them. And if you say you like Batman vs. Superman, you can just go ahead and unsubscribe from this channel right now, because you are not wanted or welcome here. That movie, <laughs> we don't talk about that movie. <laughs> Martha! Alright, it says, okay, well, this is our objective. Enter. Ooh, okay. We did the Flash. We haven't found all three comics. We're missing one. But we can enter the Daily Planet from Rooftop Door. So let's go do that. It says, I assume this is the Rooftop Door. Let's enter the Daily Planet, shall we? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just the world's strongest man in the tiniest suit. Nothing to see here at all. Hey, Kent, I mean Clark. I didn't get to read the rest. But how's it going, buddy? I'll just leave you hanging. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Clearly, this is not Superman wearing glasses. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not competing with Wilson Fisk for the largest chest in the Marvel, DC Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Where's my little set? Why, hello. I know, I'm always the light. I can't time trial travel like some people can. I to escape the firearms in Fort Warehouse downtown. My source says stock has disappeared every night this week. Lois has details. Now go get me a headline. Yes, sir. I'm also apparently the world's slowest walker. Which is maybe why I'm always the light. She looks like a Lois. Are you my Lois? Yes, you are. Glad you could finally join us in Smallville. I couldn't get anyone to talk from the warehouse, but I found a worker who finishes soon. Okay. She got a really poofy skirt. I like that. That's actually like, you can actually see the buildings from the glass. That's really cool. So an actual building. Snacks. Let me punch. Oh, I can't use my combo punches. All right, that's disappointing. We can just end this level right here. Come on, small. I'm walking. Only a couple blocks. Okay, let's go. I said weapons. Okay, there's gonna be some dialogue. No voice acting though. I guess I'll make up for this travesty. Slack of opportunity. And this guy's our only lead. This could be a long day. I'm sorry, I can pretty much only do Batman voice. <laughs> Lois. We only need to find something. Why would anybody want this amount of weapons getting out on the street? Who could want such a thing? Oh, we actually wait for the crosswalk. That's nice. And who's stupid enough to do that with, uh, with that big guy up there? I hope she's referring to me and not Lex. Because, ouch, that really hurt my self-confidence. Stupid or powerful enough, we wouldn't have to look far. Come on, Clark. I don't trust Lex just as much as you. But stealing weapons? That's ridiculous. Anything is possible with Luther. Why do you walk so slow, Lois? Just concentrate on this guy for now. I'll let you ask the questions while I scope out the place. Neither of us have x-ray vision, but my eyesight is better than yours. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think, Lois. That's what you think. Little do you know. 
that I'm just a walking building. <laughs> This is it. The worker should be leaving any minute now. I guess she's referring to this guy. Why, hello. Good morning, sir. I'm Clark Kent from the Daily Planet, and I want to talk to you about the robberies this past few nights. Oh, dialogue options. Nice. <clears throat> well, what does Constructor's accent be? It looks a little, <laughs> a little southern, so it tries southern. I ain't seen nothing. All here the walls caving in. By the time I get there, everything's gone. Takes them less than a minute. Strangest thing is, there's always imprints on the walls, like it was done by hand. But there's no fingerprints. Ain't that the strangest thing? Clark goes, I think I know who the intruder could possibly be. Obviously, it's Lex Luthor. Smallville, he doesn't even fit that description at all. You're going to have to find this feeling yourself now. I'm going to get Jimmy. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> and, and Clark needs to find somewhere to change. Why is there no phone booths? Probably because he don't exist in 2020 anymore. And this is why Superman is unrealistic. Because there are no phone booths anymore. This is clearly the only reason why Superman doesn't exist. Oh yeah. Symbol of hope. And that's it. That wraps it up, I guess. Really nice little teaser for hopefully more to come from Superman on Dreams. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this, feel free to tell us why and if you have a fair Superman movie in the comments below. For now though, super Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as we are a brand new channel.